Hello. Hi, sir. Warm welcome. Thank you so much. Oh, I would like to open a bank account. Wow, sounds great. Okay, thank you very much for choosing our bank as your preference. Okay, mm. uh, what type of account would you like to open? Oh, what type of account? Um, what type okay, of to accounts help we you, have? We have a saving account, we mm -hmm. have current account, and we have FD, Ooh. fixed deposit. Ooh, what are the differences between these accounts? Okay, for your knowledge, we are giving the highest interest rate for FD, that is about 8% in the Ooh, town. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm, what type of bank account should I open? Hmm. d -Day TV, KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Direct TV KPM, that's right, we have our level 2 session happening right now. Our subject for today is Mathematics DLP Year 6. Now what does the bank and interest rate got to do with what we're going to learn today? Ha! But before that, let's have a look at the teacher's profile. That's right, and our sign language interpreter for this lesson is none other than Teacher Shamila from uh, SK Pernikan Khas Jalampil, Kuala Lumpur. Hi Teacher, how are you today? Wonderful, and of course to lead our lesson for today, we have Teacher Kalai from SJKT Batu Cave, Selangor. Hi Teacher. Hi Sean. How are you doing today? I'm great, how about you? You're looking good today. Thank you so much and so do you. Actually, I have a very, very important question. What are we learning today? Okay, that's the vibes of mathematics. You're eager to learn, you're eager to know, right? Yes. Okay, let's explore together with our kids out there, okay? So, today's topic is about money, oh. okay? Uh, so, what do you want to learn about money, okay? So, kids out there, you're going to know more and more terms in financial literature, okay? So, you're going to recognize what is cost price, mm -hmm. selling price, profit, okay. loss, discount, rebate, okay? Normally, discount and rebate are the same, but what's are different between discount and rebate, okay? Mm. So, watcher, bill, receipt, invoice, asset, liability, interest, dividend and service tax. Ah. Okay, kids? Okay, Sean? Yes. <laughs> How do you feel when you uh, hear all these terms? There is actually quite a lot of terms that we'll be learning today and uh, I'm actually looking forward to knowing each yes. of these terms. Today's lesson is going to be a very compact one. Okay? okay. Are you ready? Yes, I okay. am. Okay. So, as I explained just now, we can mm -hmm. categorize all the terms into uh, buying and selling details. Okay. Buying and selling deals or details. Mm -hmm. Also can cl classify to documents. Asset, liability, insurance and takaful okay. and we have others. Okay, What are the others? We will know about it. Okay. okay. And then, okay, we have cost price. Mm -hmm. Okay, any idea about cost price? Cost price, is that uh, what we pay for in the shops? Yes, okay. Where, where are the goods comes from? Um, Sean, can factories? you help the kids? Yes, Maybe the manufacturer factory? in the factory, right? Yeah. From the factory, it will go to the middleman. That middleman will send to the shopkeepers, right? So, yes. a price of goods obtained by a seller, we call it as cost price. Okay. Ah. For example, I have give uh, a TV, smart TV there. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you say the price, Sean? The price here is five thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine okay, ringgit. Okay, that is the cost price. Okay. okay, the original price of the smart TV. Okay, mm -hmm. and we also have selling price. Okay. Okay, what is the selling price? Ah, uh -huh, so the selling price is what we pay for in the shops. Yes, when mm -hmm. once the seller get that goods, mm -hmm. okay, with the cost price, he will determine the selling price. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the price of selling of a good. Okay, just now the same smart TV you can have you can see there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the selling price become six thousand. Six thousand. Okay, mm -hmm. normally 
you want to fix the selling price, uh, what you will do? Either you mark up the price or you uh, drop the price. Yeah. You so decrease the price or you increase the price? I think we would normally a, try to sell it higher than the cost price, yes, right? Yes, because why? You want to get profit. Yes, so we have profit next. Mm -hmm. Okay. As a young entrepreneur, kids out there, you must know. Okay. Okay. What is profit? It obtained when the selling price is higher than the cost price. Mm -hmm. Why we must uh, selling it higher? Because you want to get the profit. Okay. Just now you see uh, the cost price and the selling price, right? Okay. Once we have profit, we also mm -hmm. have any guess on that? Hmm, maybe loss? Yes, okay. What is loss, kids? Okay, it's happened or obtained when the cost price is higher than the selling price. Okay, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, just now the TV, 5,789. Yep. You sell it for 5,550 ringgit, it is loss. Ah, because it's right. lower than the cost yes. price. Ah, yes. okay. So, that's the four uh, terms I would like to introduce, okay? All right, and hopefully those of you watching right now understand these four terms. And right now, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back to you on Level 2 on Direct TV KPM. KPM. Welcome back. You are now watching Level 2 on Didate TV KPM. Our subject for today is Mathematics DLP Year 6, where the topic is money. All right, Teacher Kalai, shall we continue? Yeah, Sean. Okay, that was awesome just now. Mm -hmm. What are the four terms we learn? The four terms that we learn are the cost price, selling price, Profit and loss. Yeah, that's good. Okay, can you see the smartphone over there, Sean? This one? Yeah. Ah, What's the price? Yes. The price here is 4320 Okay, just ringgit. a simple test on you. If mm -hmm. you want to have a profit, okay. uh, how much you'll sell it? I must sell it. And for... before that, uh, mm -hmm. are you going to sell the phone, smartphone? <laughs> well, yes, I am actually selling yeah. it right now. Okay. This is a special price. Yes, yeah. 4320 so you, Yeah, you want to sell it for profit. How much yes. will mark up or how much uh, the price will uh, fix it? Okay, so this is uh, showing here is the cost price, right? Yeah. So if the cost price is 4320 ringgit, if I want to earn a profit, it should be higher than the cost price. So, so an example? For example that? will be maybe 5,000 ringgit. Wow, okay, it's a huge profit, I think. Oh, okay. yes. Okay, uh, if you want to sell it for loss. If I want to sell it for loss, maybe I'll sell it for about 4,000 ringgit. Okay, for loss, you just uh, <laughs> give the reduced uh, bit only, okay? Uh, when you yeah. want to have uh, profit, you increase a high, right? Yes, correct. Okay, so that's the... Uh, cost price and selling price. Okay. Uh, you want to explore more on terms? Yes, financial please. literature? Okay. Now, you see that the cost price of mm -hmm. a camera is 6,000. Yes. Okay. How much is the profit? So, to find the profit, we have to uh, minus cost price from the selling price. Here we have formulas. Okay. okay. So, can you see it in the screen? Uh, yes. So, how much is the profit? The profit is 3,000 ringgit. After you minus the cost price, right? Yes, okay. correct. Now, next, another example. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a uh, laptop which yes. is cost 2,000, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, how much is the cost price? Now, because the, the selling price is 4,500 okay, ringgit. Okay, the profit they gain is 2,000. 2, mm -hmm. So, they want the cost price. The so, to price? find the cost price, you mm -hmm. have to minus profit that you gain from the selling price. Okay, yeah. And then here, we have the cost price is 2,500 ringgit. Okay. So, the cost price is 2,500. That means it is lesser than the uh, selling price sell, because yeah. you obtain the uh, profit. Yes. Correct? Okay. Good understanding. Okay, next we have another example of smartphone. Mm -hmm. The profit of the smartphone is 500, right? How yes. much is the selling price? And you see the cost price is? The cost price for this is 2,300. 2, yes. Okay. 
So how much? Uh, how about the selling price? So because like what uh, Teacher Kala has mentioned earlier, the cost price is two thousand three hundred. If I want to uh, sell it with a profit of five hundred ringgit, I have to add that. So cost price. At the profit and the selling price will be two thousand eight hundred. Yes. Okay, you're right. Okay. Next, we have the scenario year, the mm -hmm. two uh, scenario year, the two hawkers here. Okay. One is the uh, small uh, hawker. Okay. And the other one is the I think what is that? Uh, it's a but food, right? Okay. Mm, yes. So what is happening there that day? So here, the capital spend for selling Chandel today was 129 ringgit. The sales today for today is only 85 ringgit. No, from the picture, what ah. is happening on that day? Oh, okay. So I see it's actually, oh, it looks like it's raining. Yeah, it's a rainy day, kids. Okay, what will happen to the small hawkers like that? Um, so they might... Yeah, they might uh, have face, less customers. Less customers and mm -hmm. they might face loss, right? Yes. Okay, we see the example here. Calculate the loss incurred by the Chendol Hawker, okay? To find the loss, mm -hmm. Sean, we have to minus selling price from the cost price, okay? Yes. Because why? It is a loss. So, of course, the selling price will be lesser than the cost price. Yes, okay? correct. Okay, we have to understand on that, okay? So, we minus uh, 85 from 129, we have 44. 44 that is the loss of uh, the what? Chendol Hawker is 440. Two. Okay? Sorry, 44. 44. Right. 44. Okay, 44. Yes. 44. Yes. Okay. Next. Okay, these are the formulas, students out there. Okay. Sean, can you read the formula? Yes. To find the selling price. So for selling price is cost price plus profit. Yes. If you're looking for the cost price, it's selling price minus profit. As for the cost price, uh, we have well, two situations here. Okay, one yeah. is we minus the profit. Okay, mm -hmm. the other one is we plus the loss. Loss. Okay. Ah, okay. So this one here for loss, uh, cost price is equivalent to selling price plus loss. And if we're looking for profit, again, I think this is also depending on whether they have profit or loss, right? Okay. So for profit is selling price minus cost price, and loss is equivalent to cost price minus selling price. No, to find the uh, profit, it is fixed because why the selling price minus the cost price. Ah. On, only then you can get the profit because the selling price is higher than the cost price. That's and right. same goes to the loss, the mm -hmm. cost price minus the selling price because the selling price is lower than the cost price. Ah. Okay, got it the formulas? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, next we move on. Okay, let's understand the terms, more mm -hmm. terms. Okay, what is discount uh -huh. and what is rebate? Hmm. Okay, any idea from you? Um, I assume that discount and rebates are the same, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a deduction, right? Discount okay. also you deduct from the amount. Rebate also you deduct from the amount. But okay. the difference is rebate you deduct directly. Okay, for discount the amount deducted from original price and mm. usually it is in the percentage. Have you visited mm. the uh, shopping complex, Soho, oh, yes. Parkson? Mm -hmm. Okay, usually they have the year end sale, yes sale, right? Mm, yes, uh, correct. Festival sales during the festivals. Okay, what you will see? I usually see, oh, discount 50%, yes. discount 30%. Of course, discount 70%, all the people like, right? Oh, they grab yes. for that 70%, okay? Mm -hmm. So normally we will see 10%, 50%, 20%, 70%, 70%, up to 70%, you can get the discount. So it depends on the discount. In, normally it is in the percentage. So that is the ah, discount, okay? okay? Students out there, you have to calculate the discount, okay? And then rebate, you just, you just uh, deduct directly okay deduction mm -hmm. from a total payment or mm -hmm. partial refund of money after a purchase of goods for example you see the lcd projector yes. okay in the screen mm -hmm. so uh, they, they give you rebate for let's say it is around five thousand they mm -hmm. give you straight away they give you 250 rebate oh. so you just minus the okay. amount directly meanwhile for discount you have to find how much is the percentage and then only you have to deduct from the uh, total amount that you have to pay you okay. got it sean so that means if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So discount is always shown in a percentage form, but yes. rebate is directly the amount yes. that are being deducted. Are deduction from the total amount that's supposed to be. Okay. All right. Okay. Next, bill. What mm -hmm. is bill? This bill all uh, categorized under documents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so normally what is bill? A written statement of any purchase of goods or services received. You okay. can see here, mm -hmm. the examples are... Ah, this in, one here. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ah. And receipt? Receipt is what? An evidence of payment mm -hmm. made, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where you can get the receipt normally? Normally, after I've made a payment, let's say for example, or during a, a sale in a supermarket or a shopping complex when I purchase a shirt. 
And after I made a purchase, after I've paid for the shirt, I will receive this small piece of paper and I think that is a receipt. Is receipt. that correct? Okay, yes, yes, you're right. Okay. How about invoice? Invoice. Is this a new term for you or hmm, isn't it the same invoice and receipt? Yeah, that's the confusion here. Okay. Hmm. What's the difference between uh, receipt and invoice? Invoice is the information of goods or services supplied to the customer and the total amount that need to be paid by the customer that is recorded in detail. That okay. is the difference. Okay. Ah. For receipt, you just get your total payment. Okay, what's the goods? Okay. In invoice, you mm -hmm. have the uh, uh, the full detail. Ah, okay. okay. The recorded detail. Okay. Yes. Next. Okay, this is an example of invoice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, service tax. What do you understand about service tax? Service tax, I think um, normally if we go to a restaurant and uh, we order food, there will always be this extra service tax. So I think this is something to do with anything that has to okay. do with service. You have to pay a small amount mm -hmm. that for the services that you receive. Normally, ah. in your, as what uh, Sean said, like in the restaurants or in the hotels, okay, whereby we receive the service from the uh, people okay? Ah, okay so tax that needs to be paid for the service provided by a certain business mm -hmm. okay such as hotels and restaurants okay mm -hmm. so that is service tax okay normally how many percent you have uh, been charged if I'm not mistaken it's about 10 percent oh it's so high 10 percent are you willing to pay 10 percent for the service that if you the service received? is really good then yeah, yes yeah okay normally it starts from uh, six percent right ah okay. oh yes oh yes okay. yes, yes. Uh, can you show the tax here uh, from here for examples okay okay so it's, this one's here. from here okay oh, this one. it's circled there okay. ah okay so i'm just so going to lift it up and can show you say it to the what's camera the circle there? so here you can see there is a five percent is that is this the one it's it's a tax right okay no. five percent tax yeah. yeah correct okay so that's an example okay next we move next okay mm -hmm. ah you can see it here Okay. Okay. In the screen, Sean, there is a service tax. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the food costs only forty-five ringgit eighty cent. Why is the total payment is about forty-eight ringgit and fifty-five cent, Sean? Oh. Normally, kids will ask that. Yeah. Okay, right. As mm -hmm. a parent, we have to answer for them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the total cost is only forty-five eighty. But why we have to pay more for that? Oh, because of the service tax. Yes. So, as a parents, oh, that includes the service tax of six percent. Okay. You mm -hmm. can see in the screen. Okay, two ringgit seventy-five cent is the service tax, which is uh, charged as six percent. Ah, okay. okay. Next, what is interest, and what is uh, dividend? Hmm. Okay, this is. I remember uh, the bank officer uh, yes, tell to you. Correct. Okay, they're so giving the a... highest interest in the bank, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the uh, uh, interest, as you understand? So if interest, if let's say we have, we're relating it to a bank, when we save money or we keep money in the bank, we'll receive some sort of return from the bank itself. So that's always and in a percentage, it's right? only from the bank, okay? Mm -hmm. Kids out there, you have, uh, you should remember that in year five, you have learned about saving and uh, investment, okay? So under savings, it's, it is comes the interest, okay? So an amount of money received on savings kept in the bank. So it could be 2%, it could be 1.5% and it could be 6% and, and more than that, okay? Uh, could be 10% also. It depends on the capital that you uh, save in the particular banks, okay? Mm, okay? If your amount is big, so you will get the higher uh, interest. interest. Okay. okay. And how about uh, dividend? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not so sure. Dividends uh, comes under investment, okay? Savings and investment, you already know what is saving and what is the investment. Mm -hmm. So for investment, we get the dividend. It's also amount of money that we receive. Uh, distribution of part of the company's profit. Oh. They distribute part of their, uh, their profit, profit. Mm -hmm. to the customers, okay? Uh, normally, it is in the private limited to the shareholders. Okay, as I what I say as the customers, mm -hmm. okay, or shareholders based on the percentages on the shares that they owned. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. So which is higher? Hmm, I think uh, it depends though. I think uh, dividends are higher because yes. if the if the company of which we have the shares it has a higher earning, that means we receive higher dividends. Yes, okay. Compared to the interest, dividend is higher in return. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it? Yes. Okay. Next, we move on. Okay, asset. Do oh. you uh, normally uh, listen? What is asset? Yeah, I always heard of the word asset. What does that mean? Okay, asset means something that you own. 
Okay. okay. How much cash do you have in your purse now? Uh, <laughs> maybe 15 ringgit. 15 ringgit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that is your asset. Currently. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. That's something that you own. Okay. Yes. So, like cash, land, and properties. Okay, look at mm -hmm. the examples here. Okay, what are they? Can you tell me? Uh, we have savings, yes. a car, cash, land, house, and jewelry. Okay, savings in whom? In your piggy bank or in the uh, bank, okay, outside there. Mm -hmm. uh, car and house, you have to settle the payment fully. If ah. you're still paying monthly, the installment, is it yes. comes under asset, Sean? Uh, paying? Uh, I think so. I said that's something you own fully. Oh. Uh, if you're still paying the installment to the bank, that means the car is still under the bank, right? I see. Uh. Okay, so then so it's not, not yet your, asset. your own so asset, right? Only something that belongs to us. Ah, yes. That means okay. if you fully paid for your car installment, your mm -hmm. house, then it becomes your asset. I see. Okay, nowadays okay. people like to uh, buy a lot of jewellery, mm -hmm. golds, okay, mm -hmm. for their asset and also land. Okay. Okay, yeah. Do you understand what is asset? Yes, yes, okay, teacher. Now, let's move on to liability. Ah. So, what is liability? So, based on what's on the screen, so it's a financial liabilities or debts. Yes, it debts. Do mm -hmm. you have debts, Sean? I, if I were to owe someone, that would mean yes. debt, right? So, if let's say I sure, have, yes, I can say yes. Why? Because I have a car and yes, I'm still paying the bank. Yes, Sean is having credit card. Oh, yes, yes that's you're right. True. Yes. Okay, we look at the examples. Sean, mm -hmm. okay. Can you see out? Okay, so we have education loan, house or car, uh, car installment. Installment, yes. So we have credit cards, yes. uh, insurance, outstanding bill and tax. Tax. Because why mm -hmm. tax and also the insurance we are paying installment, right? Yes. Okay, either you are paying uh, monthly, uh, quarterly, annually. So it's, it's still you are paying, right? Until it not yet uh, reached the maturity, right? Mm -hmm. So it yes. comes under the... Uh, liabilities. Ah. Say, let's say you got your insurance fully paid, uh, maybe after 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, once you get the maturity fund, it comes your asset. asset. Ah, oh. That's the difference. Okay? okay. And car and uh, house, it's still under installment, it is a liability. Mm, that yes. means you are uh, responsible. You have to pay until the end. Right? Okay, yes. Okay. So, that's uh, about uh, asset and liability. All Understand right. that? Understand, teacher. Okay, you're a good student. Okay, this is an example of asset and liabilities. Okay, mm -hmm. formula, you see. We have two persons here. One mm -hmm. is um, Puan Liza and the other one is uh, Inchi Razik. Okay, can you tell me which is, which is the richer person? Oh, looking at this here, uh, I believe it will be... We have to do the be... comparison between... Uh, the assets the and liabilities, asset and liabilities. Right? So... so what you can tell about that? Who's the richer person? I think it's Puan Lina because um, her assets are higher than her liabilities. Yes, you are right. Okay, even though uh, Mr. Rafiq got two hundred fifty thousand, mm -hmm. but his uh, liabilities are higher than Puan yeah. uh, Lina. So yeah. in this case, we can tell that Puan Lina is the richer person because once your liabilities are lesser and lesser, you become rich. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So kids, you must know. Okay. So. Uh, what do you prefer now? Asset, you want to own more asset or you want to have more liabilities? I want more assets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good uh, character of an entrepreneur. Okay, now we also uh, have insurance. Okay? okay, what is insurance? So I think this is something to protect ourselves. Do you or have our insurance family? policy? Yes, I do. Yes, okay, people normally they have insurance policy and nowadays in the pandemic, okay, we should have insurance policy, right? Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me? Yes, teacher. Okay, for further explanation, insurance uh, is a type of monetary tool bought to protect oneself from uh, DC, mm -hmm. from any accident, okay? And also gives protection if something bad were to happen to the person, like what? Uh, like incident, accidents. like uh, sickness, okay. Yes. Well, not only for the personal, but also for the family, family. and their belongings. Mm -hmm. That means their uh, goods, okay. Yes. Okay, later we see what are they. Okay, uh, it could be short term and long term savings, mm -hmm. okay. And types of insurance we have two life insurance and general insurance. General mm -hmm. insurance cover to the uh, properties like motorbike, house, tourism, and pro personal properties. Okay? okay, so do you understand? Yes, insurance. Sure. Okay, we also have. 
Takaful. In Malaysia, we mm -hmm. have Takaful. Mm -hmm. So, any idea about Takaful? Oh, I'm not so sure. Maybe you can explain it to me. Okay, all the students out there, you have Takaful insurance. Okay, so what is Takaful? It's also an insurance coverage based mm -hmm. on Sharia principle. Ah. Okay, uh, that's why I say in Malaysia, we have uh, Takaful. Mm -hmm. Okay, types of Takaful are family and general. Okay, mm -hmm. so for family, we have protection and also for children education. For general, as what I say, for the properties. Yes. Okay, okay now. So, what is the importance of the insurance? I think it's mainly for protection. Yes, okay. Uh, to help reduce the financial burden of oneself in the family uh, uh, in order to happen uh, even like loss or accident. Okay, okay. it's yes. uh, entirely to protect the, uh, reduce the financial burden. burden. Okay, mm -hmm. now, time to test your my understanding. Knowledge? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Can I have you here, Sean? Okay, I'll just go over there. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. All okay. right. So, haha, -ha, what do we have here? Ah, this is a task for you. Okay. okay. Can you see the terms over here? Yes, we okay, have. Okay, all the 14 terms that I introduced. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the definition. Okay. okay. Now, I want you to put it, match it to the correct definition. Okay. So, the first one I have here is obtained when the selling price is higher than the cost price. Selling price higher than the cost price, that would mean that is profit. Yes, that is the profit. Inside Yay. here. Next one, the amount deducted from original price in percentage. So this is about deduction, but in percentage, percentage yes. this would mean this is discount. You got the hint word correctly. Yes. Yeah, proud of you. Okay, so the next one that we have here, uh, let me just bring it forward, an evidence of payment made. So I believe if it's evidence, this should be a receipt. Yes, receipt. Receipt. Comes under and that one document. is here. Yes. Okay, so let's put this here. Okay. The next Keep one on I have going. debts. Oh, this is something that we don't want, but because it's something that we don't own yet, that would mean it is a liability. Yes, right. Yes, yeah, so liability. liability goes over here. Now for yeah, people who are watching going, online, can you guess this one? Distribution of part of company's profits. So this is something company's like an earning, profit, yes. but it is not interest. This is dividend. Yes, you are right. Dividend is over here. Okay, so far so good. Okay, the next one, a written statement of any purchase of goods or services received. So this is a written statement. Statement means something that is a bit more uh, detailed, I yes, would believe. Yes, but so, good and service that yes. you received. So this is an invoice? Yeah, you are right. An invoice would go over here. The next one that we have, an amount of money received on savings kept in the bank. Aha, in the bank. Yes. So this, this is the keyword that we have here that teacher said, only in the bank that would mean it is an, or it refers to interest. interest okay. So interest. Once it sounds bank, you know already it is interest. Ah, okay, interest over I here. Help you. Okay. okay, the next one, deduction from a total payment after a purchase of goods. Deduction from total payment. So earlier we had deduction by percentage. Direct deduction, yes. This one is a direct, would mean that is a rebate. Wow, you can remember all the terms. Wow. Oh, yes. <laughs> Next one. Tax that need to be paid for the services provided by certain business. So this again, the word is tax. tax and the word here is service. service. Can you guys guess? That's right, it's service tax. Is that correct, teacher? Yes, you're right. Okay. Service tax is over here. Yeah. Okay, I think we have a few more. I'm going to go really quick. Huh? Obtained when cost price is higher than selling price. Uh oh, if cost is higher, that means we are at a loss. Loss. And loss goes the loss. over oh, yeah. here. Thank okay. you, teacher. Next one, price of selling a good. Uh -huh. The keyword is right here. Can you guys guess? Selling, so this is selling price. Is that correct? Oh yes, correct. <laughs> Selling price goes over here. We got three more. Price of goods obtained by a seller. If you're a seller and you Straight obtain away from it, the factory, yes. correct. So that's a cost price. Yes, you're right. Again. Here, yes. Next and one will be things that own permanently. Now, hmm, I know this one. It's an asset. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. It's over here. And last but not least, the information of goods or services supplied to customer that uh, that is recorded in detail. Oh, <laughs> this in detail then should be actually 
an invoice. This is the invoice, right? And this okay. is the They're other mine. way okay. here. So this so one here again, a written statement of any purchase of goods or services received. This is actually bill. Bill, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to put this here. Okay, and we so, have oh, okay. All done. So I put everything. So did I get okay. it all correct, teacher? Yes, you are very very good boy today. Yay, thank and you, you so much. And you understand well everything. Okay, mm -hmm. you understand all the terms, and I'm pretty sure all the children out there also you must. Uh, you understand what about the mm -hmm. uh, financial terms that we learned today, we uh, teacher introduced to you today. Alright, so because I've answered all correctly, how many stars do I get? Uh, how many stars kids we can give him? Hmm. I give him 10 stars. 10 stars, wow! Thank you so much teacher and I guess uh, those of you who guessed it correct as well also received 10 stars and because everyone did so well, we can take a short break. Back to you after this on Level 2 on the TV KPM. TV KPM. You are now watching Level 2 on Direct TV KPM. Our subject for today is Mathematics DLP Year 6. Okay, teacher, I've already prepared my calculator. What are we going to do now? Yes, Sean. So far, so good. Okay. So, can you help me to fill the blanks here to find the cost price, selling price, or either profit or loss? Okay, sure, Ken. So okay. the first one here we have is jewelry. That's the cost price and profit. So I have to fill in the selling price. So this, so cost price minus with profit, I get the selling price of 10, sorry, not minus, plus, sorry. Cost price plus profit, I get 10,847 ringgit. So here, 10,847. Yes, correct because why the selling price is higher than the cost price. Okay? Alright, so the next one I have to find the cost price of the motorcycle and given the selling price and also the profit. For this, I will have to find the cost price. So cost price is equivalent to selling price minus profit. Let yes, me just get that there. The correct formula. And the price is 12,800. So let me write this here. Yes, you're right because the cost price is lesser than the selling price. Okay, then only you can obtain a profit. Okay, so the next one here, oh, a house. Cost price is given and then a loss. I have to find the selling price. <gasps> because it's a loss, so that means it's sold uh, lower than the cost price. So that would mean cost price minus, minus loss. Let me loss. calculate okay. this. And the price or the answer is 601200 Six zero one and yeah, with more confidence. You're right. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, looks like we already have the answers here. So this was used for this. This was used for this, and we have this one. We'll just cross this out. Oh, and we have one more. But never mind. Let me just double check. This is a, a fridge. So we're given the cost price. We're given a loss, like teacher Kalai has mentioned. If we has a loss, means the the, it, the selling price it's sold below the cost price. So yes, that would so mean the cost price. seven thousand one hundred thirty-five minus one thousand seven hundred ninety. I get oh the same over here. So six thousand one hundred. Wow, our shot is simply 40. superb. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Yes. Okay. So finally, you got that uh, understand about cost price, selling price, profit, and loss. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your understanding. And how many stars do I get for completing this? Another ten stars for Sean. <laughs> ten stars for me and for you as well. All right. Okay. Shall we continue? Yes, Sean. Okay. okay. I'll just head on over there. Okay. So for further uh, activities, okay. Mm -hmm. After you learn all the terms, we are going to uh, apply it in our daily life, right? Okay. Yes. So look at some example here. Okay. Mr. Alex bought a car. Mm -hmm. He paid an advantage payment, sorry, an advance payment of forty percent, okay, for that car, and the remaining he got a bank loan. Okay. This is what usually people do to get a car, right? Okay. Yes. Kids, you must know this. The bank charges an interest rate of three point two percent. Okay. There is an interest charge because why the bank give you the balance uh, cash. Okay. And then uh, the charges are for five years. 
Okay. Yeah. Now you see the uh, price for the car is sixty-five thousand. Mm -hmm. So the question sounds: Calculate Mr. Alex's monthly installment. Uh, you we must know that if you own a car, okay, uh, using the bank loan, you have to pay it monthly, right? So how to calculate this? Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand the keywords there. Okay. He already paid forty percent for the uh, as a. Uh, what is that uh, down payment and then the balance it took a bank loan with the interest of 3.2 percent so first thing you have to minus that 40 percent right okay okay so what we do step one we find the 40 percent out of the 65 the total uh, price of the car so it is about 26,000 so you minus you get the balance Okay, that is the 39,000. So, mm -hmm. that 39,000, remember, Mr. Alex took a bank loan, right? Okay, yes. for step two, we times with the 3.2 percentage, okay, that uh, given by the bank. Okay, it's about 1,242. Mm -hmm. And then we times it uh, with five because why? It's going to pay for five years. Ah. So, it is about 6,240. Okay, step three, we proceed with... We plus with the uh, balance uh, cash, that is 39,000, we plus with the interest, that is 3.2, okay? Yes. Uh, so, it's about 45,240. Mm. And then we divide it by 60. Why? Five years, they are 12 uh, months. Yes. Okay, you times with five, they are 60 months, ah. okay? So, once you divide the total, so you will get 754. That is... The monthly installment that Mr. Alex is going to pay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. I understand You now. understand? Okay. Yes. Next, we move on to another question. Okay, mm -hmm. another... Um, uh, what? Integrated in uh, in our daily life. Okay, kids? Okay, it's uh, 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 received here. Okay. Uh, we have quantity. We have uh, DG perfume. Price per unit is 80. And we have uh, Lee Sera perfume. 45 quantity, price per unit is 30. Mm -hmm. And we have another daisy perfume, three, three types of perfume here. Yeah? Okay, uh, this is 120, whereby one is cost about 50 ringgit. Okay, here we have to find the total amount to be paid. But we notice here they give you 30% discount. At the same time, you have to pay 6% of sales tax. Okay, remember what we learned about discount and sales tax kits, how to find it. Okay, so this is how you are going to pay your bills in your daily life. Okay, so first thing we have to find the total for mm -hmm. each of that. 60 times 80, 45 times 30, 120 times 50. You get the total. It's about uh, 12,150 okay so from the total you are entitled for 30 percent discount so what we must do here discount sounds what you deduct okay so first thing you find that 30 percent okay mm -hmm. so to find the 30 percent 30 over 100 we times by the total 12,150 you will get 3,645 yes so that 30 percent you have to minus again from the total or you can Calculate in vice versa. You take for the 70% straight away, we'll get that uh, 8,505. Yes. Okay. So, once you get the total, okay. So, for after the discount 30%, the new total is 8,505. And here we have another step, okay. The person charge you 6% of sales tax. Mm. When it comes to sales tax, are you going to add or are you going to deduct? For discount, we deduct. For sales tax, we have to add on, kids. Okay. So, first thing you have to find how much is the 6%. So, for that, 6 over 100, we times by 8,505 because the new total. So, you will get 510 ringgit and 30 cent. Yes. Okay. So, that 530 cent, remember, we have to add on with our total because it is a uh, tax charge to us. So, once you add, you will get... Uh, 9,015 ringgit and 30 cent. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, we see here, okay, after the sales tax, the total amount to be paid is 9,015 ringgit and 30 cent. Initially, it was 12,000 plus. We deduct the 30% and then we add with the 6%. Okay. Hope you got it. Okay. Next, time again to test our Sean. Okay, Sean, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I am. I also okay, prepared a whiteboard. Okay, it's going to be mm -hmm. challenging for you. Okay. Can you try this? Okay, so Emily, uh, Emelina bought a tablet and a watch. For the purchase of the watch, she received a 15% discount. I have to calculate the total purchase. So at step one, I have to find the price of the watch after a 15% discount. So price of the watch right now is RM600. So I'm going to minus off 15%, right? 
So this 15% after I calculate it, hmm, 15% of 600, this is actually, wait, 600, 15% is, aha, 90 ringgit. So I'm going to minus off 90 ringgit. And that would mean the price of the watch alone is 510 ringgit. Now for question A, calculate Amelina's total purchase. That means that watch, 510 ringgit, plus the tablet, 900 ringgit, I would get, uh, so RM510, uh, oops, RM, my mistake teacher, 510, plus with RM900 uh, ringgit. The price of a tablet. Yes, that's right. I will get RM one thousand four hundred and one ringgit. Let me just double check. Yep, that's so for question. So that's the price that Amelina total purchase. Uh, purchase right? Yes, okay. correct. So this yeah, is for right. question A. Now okay. for question B, she used two vouchers worth fifty ringgit each. Calculate the total payment for using the vouchers. So for each product, there are two products. Fifty ringgit voucher, which means that I get a discount of. 100 ringgit cost 50 times 2, right? So that would mean from here, 1,410 ringgit. Let me just minus off really quickly. Uh, RM 100 ringgit. It's a straight uh, deduction. Correct. Okay. Which means I get it for only 1,000. Oh, let me just make a here. 1,310 ringgit. Is that correct? Yeah, you? finally got the right answer. Ah, okay. Yay! How many stars did I get for this? Sean deserves for another 50 stars right now. 50 okay, because... stars! Wow! Thank you so much, teacher. And hopefully those of you who are at home also understand and also got the same answers as me. Right now, I'm going to take a short break. Back to you after this on Level 2 on Diddy TV KPM. TV KPM. Welcome back. You are now watching Level 2 on Didit TV KPM. Our subject for today is Mathematics DLP Year 6 together with Teacher Kalai as well as Teacher Shamila as our Sign Language Interpreter. So Teacher, what are we going to do for this segment? Okay, for this segment, Sean, mm -hmm. since you are only one charming and uh, extraordinary student for me today, <laughs> yes? it's time to test you again. Oh no, okay. Are you ready for that? This yes, time, I we are am, going teacher. to do online interactive activity. Oh, that's interesting. So, so it will be a quiz, right? We're going right? to answer a quiz. Okay. okay. All right. So we have the quiz on the screen right now. Shall we begin? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. okay three, two, go. Oh, which, which of, of the following? following is not categorized under life insurance protection? Oh. The choices are there. Okay. Life insurance protection, I think, is tourism. Yay! That? Yes, okay. <laughs> well done. Okay, we go for the second one. Ooh. Ooh, I got all these points. Thank you. Okay, Miss Puja bought a sofa set at the price of 5,650 ringgit. Okay. So that's the cost price. Mm -hmm. She wants to get profit of 980. Determine the selling price that Puja has to set. Okay, so this she wants profit. A profit, right? So I have to plus, uh, sorry, I have to add together the selling price and also the profit, and I get 6,630 ringgit. That's the one in green. Cost price, you add with the profit. Yes. So that is the shelling price should be Yay! right, correct. And now based on the quiz, how many stars do I get? Oh, you did well. So Sean, I'm going to give you 50 stars. Another 50 stars. Thank <laughs> you star. so much, teacher. And before we end our lesson today, could you kindly summarize yes, what we have learned today? Yes, of course, for the students out there, okay, mm -hmm. we have learned about topic money under financial literature. And I have introduced the 14 uh, terms, the financial terms, okay. By learning all this, I hope you become a good uh, finance manager but for your own self and also for your family and then uh, try to be a good uh, entrepreneur in future. Thank you so much teacher and what about my overall performance? How well did I do for the entire lesson? Oh, uh, it's uh, superb. 
Okay. Thank you uh, so much. <laughs> and of course, with you your are help. the extraordinary student for me today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, teacher. And let's see if you want to get ex uh, enhancement okay, exercises. For more extra uh, hands and interactive activities, students can log in to the uh, portal Delima Sumbaku. Okay. Thank you so much, Teacher Kalai, for our lesson for today. And of course, thank you to our sign language interpreter, Teacher Shamila. And for those of you watching, hopefully it's been beneficial to all of you. And we'll see you in our next lesson. Till then, bye! Oh, we have another quiz, yes, right? Sean, okay. Yeah, let's go forward. Okay. okay can you have it? You okay. just tell me either it is library or, or it is a asset. asset. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, How about this? Oh, this is land. So this should be asset. Yes, you are right. Okay, good. Again, mm -hmm. you are performing very good. Okay, how about this? Oh, this is a check. Uh, looks like money, so I will say asset. Yes, because you own it, right? Okay, Aha. good. Yeah, super okay. duper. Now, this, how about this? Oh, this looks like a house. Wow, but it looks really expensive. So, I think I will need to take a bank loan for that. So, that would mean I have to pay for the bank loan. Liability. Yes, of course, you're going to pay monthly, right? Yes. Okay, good. Oh. Super. The last one. How ah. about this? Ooh, a credit card. I can go shopping. But this would mean I'm. it's a credit. So credit would mean it is liability. Yes, why it is liability? Can you justify it? Because your we have to owe? We, we, we're paying the bank's money before our money. Yes. All okay. right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>